Foodie's got another week in Thailand under her belt, so it's time for another weekly recap. It's still just her, still in Bangkok, and week two was pretty uneventful. She did manage to go out a couple of times, but she was also pretty baked for the rest of the time. She posted less in week two than she did in week one, with just nine videos total, most of them live streams and one pre-recorded, edited video at the Krung Tong Plaza. Her total streaming time ended up being just over 17 hours, so down from week one, and her food choices still remained 7-Eleven, local takeout, and one cat cafe. She also continues to order from McDonald's and also from Arab Street, where she stops to get her supplies. One major highlight of week two was her visit to a plus-size shopping plaza. Here, she bought two outfits, one dress and one top. She was measured by a sales lady and found to be a tie size 58, and she ended up buying the dress in size 60, and the fit was pretty good. She really liked the flowiness of the fabric, it's seersucker, and the fact that she won't have to wear lots of layers with it. Foodie, if you're listening, go back and buy that dress in multiples, even two of that same black and white. It really does fit you pretty well. Another thing you could do is find a tailor or seamstress near your hotel and have that dress made in multiple different fabrics. You could adjust the neckline a bit, take the elastic out of the sleeves, and maybe get rid of that bottom ruffle thing. It would look a lot less Little House on the Prairie that way if it was just an A-line skirt. Another interesting thing about the shop she went to, one of them called Fat Girls, is that it was created by a former model because her mom is plus size. One of the blouses that Foodie looked at is this Ohm Relax Fit blouse for 469 baht. Now that's definitely more expensive than her $7 dress, but it's made out of silk. This is exactly the sort of thing that she should be asking about. The store has a website and she could easily call and make an appointment to see everything they have in size 58 and 60. It's also a tailor and seamstress, so she could probably order stuff in her size. She's got the time for it. As it turns out, another clothing option that Foodie's wrong about in Thailand is Amazon. She thinks that she can't order it or she hasn't quite looked into it yet because she can. Everything that you see on Amazon in the US or Canada can be sent to Thailand for a fee. Just for fun, I found this long sleeve A-line dress that goes to about the knee so she could wear it as a dress over pants. It would be a single layer and it goes all the way up to size 8X. It's on Amazon right now, and all you'd have to do is pick Ship to Thailand. This is an example of what the fees would be. So yeah, she's not limited to what she can find locally at all. I'm not exaggerating when I say that the vast majority of the footage from week two is just foodie getting baked or dealing with the after effects. She's made it abundantly clear, and even verbally confessed it, that she's finding it hard to be motivated and doesn't really want to go out and do much. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think about all of this. How do you think week two went? I'd love to hear from you.